Welcome to the Hollywood Racks installation video for the RV Rider for electric bikes. The RV Rider model HR1700 is our reinforced electric bike rack compatible with motor homes class A, B, and C, flat towing, and fifth wheels with a maximum weight capacity of 80 pounds per bike. Follow the instructions provided in the box as this video is only to assist you with the instruction sheet. Install the hitch tube to your vehicle's 2-inch receiver. Align the holes. Next, install the half by 13 threaded hitch pin through the hitch pin and receiver. Make sure to install the lock washer and the flat washer. Then tighten using the wrench or 3 quarter socket wrench. Install the lock head. Your hitch must have a flange in order to install the hitch tightener. Install the flat washers and threaded nuts onto both legs of the U-bolt. Tighten both sides securely so the pressure is equal on both sides. Install the lock washers and nuts onto the U-bolt. and tighten securely. Push the plastic sleeve all the way forward on the main beam so that the three holes are exposed. Position the main beam inside the hitch tube's large U-bracket and align the holes. Slide the flat washer onto the pivot bolt, then pass it through the main beam and U-shaped bracket. Install the spacer and nut. Then tighten securely using the included tools or a 3 quarters inch wrench. Insert the carriage bolt through the square hole in the U-bracket until it passes through. Slide the split washer onto the bolt and install the knob. Tighten securely. Check that the plastic sleeve is installed on the double post then position it into the bracket of the main beam. Insert carriage bolt in the upper hole, then install the flat washer and nut onto the bolt. Use a wrench to tighten. Repeat on the lower hole, except you will be applying the double post knob instead of the nut. Slide the wheel tubes onto the post of the main beam with the square holes on top. Then position the external support bracket aligned with the wheel tubes. Insert the carriage bolts from the top and slide the spacers up the bolt and finger tighten the nuts. Now use a wrench to tighten securely. Loosen the knobs on the wheel holders and slide them onto the wheel tubes. Insert the outside wheel holder on the driver's side first. Next, the inside wheel holder on the driver's side. Alternate the positions on the passenger side. After determining the final position of the wheel holders, insert the two stop screws into the bottom of the wheel tubes using a Phillips screwdriver. When installing the frame clamps, first unscrew the knob and remove the long carriage bolt. Open the lower portion of the clamp and place it onto the double post. Make sure that the L-shaped part of the clamp is outside of the double post. Reattach the clamp and screw the knob back onto the end of the carriage bolt. Repeat the steps for the second frame clamp.
Loosen the knob and remove the bolt from the sensor bracket. Rotate the post 90 degrees down, then reinstall the carriage bolt, the split washer, and the knob. Unscrew the knob on the main beam and remove the bolt. Rotate the main beam up towards the vehicle. Reinsert the bolt in the indicated hole, slide the split washer on, and tighten the knob securely on the bolt. Use the attached Velcro strap to attach the frame clamp onto the wheel holder when folding the rack. Remove the knob, carriage bolt, and washer. Then remove the pin with clip. Gently tilt the rack down. If you are carrying an electric bike, be sure to remove the battery. Position the first bike in front of the rack so that the bike can be securely attached to the clamp. Adjust the position of the wheel holders so that they align with your bike's wheels. The small wheel adapter is only needed with 20 inch wheels that have a derailleur. You will need to fold down the post in order to load the inside bike. Loosen knob and remove bolt. Fold down the double post. Raise the front wheel of the first bike and place it on the outside wheel holder. Then continue with the rear wheel. You can then walk the bike into the inside wheel holders. Raise and secure the double post. Install the bolt and nut and tighten the knob securely. Unscrew the knob enough to open the jaws of the clamp. Place the clamp either on the frame or seat post of the bicycle and tighten the knob securely. Always lock the clamp after installing your bike. After the bike's wheels have been placed into the wheel holders, rotate the strap and lay it on top of the bike's wheels. Insert it into the buckle and pull tight. Make sure the frame clamp is secured properly and that the ratchet straps are pulled tight. Repeat for the second bike with the handlebars on the opposite side of the first bike. There are three safety straps included with the rack. Thread the short strap through the outer bike's frame and around the double post, then through the inner bike and back towards the double post. Feed the end of the strap into the buckle and tighten securely.